right through the middle of the tree. Right in the grass. Oh, I see him. It's good, huh? You guys. What's that? If it's okay with you guys, yeah. you just go get a look at it. Hold on, man, because it's going to get rocky here. We were pulling up to a spot this morning, cruising the river this morning, and I spotted a buck right off the river. I couldn't tell what he was from the boat as we were moving around, but he looked like a big bodied deer, so let's go find him. I see him. Oh, that's the doe. I don't see the buck. Holy Jesus has a giant. I see him, his head's down. Okay. He's kind of small. He's very small. Let's see if we can get closer. Had to have been an offhand shot in this. We got sage rush up to our necks and close quarters. Well, he was on public. It would have been tough because he's in sage rush up to his neck. We got the trophy on the we were. That was perfect coming up here. He's right in front of, uh, he's up high, there's like a little white, cl like, cliffy bank looking thing. Yeah. He's just tucked in a bush. I'd shoot this one. Hey, man, I'm gonna take you guys across. I'm gonna come back with Michael. And if you guys shoot, Michael and I will grab everything and come meet you guys. Okay. Hopefully it cleaned up a bit so you guys can see what's going on. <clears throat> Thanks dude. I think that uh, it's gonna clear off for you once in a little bit. I'm just hoping they stay bedded. They're all bedded right now, so Which could be good or bad. It means he's probably gonna be stationary, but he might be smarter.
you just over the next ridge. So when we get to the top, in theory, they should be there in potentially in shooting range. So, let's see. I think it's a doe. Yeah, that's not that's not it. I guess I saw stuff behind it and I could have sworn that was it. I was so sure that was him for a second. I saw a brush. Oh, dang, that's close. It's 160 yards. The buck that I see is 160. and I made a heck of a hike in here and kept thinking we were going to find it over the next little rise. I just completely lost my bearings. Like, I wish I took a photo and like made a circle of where I thought he was or where I knew he was because once I got over here, I could not find the landmarks I was looking for. And we ended up hopping over a couple of ridges to make sure we were in the right location. And we could not turn him up. I mean, it's very possible. He got up and left before we even got here, but but we couldn't even, I couldn't even find the spot where I'm like, oh yeah, he was bedded right there. Just everything looks different back here. So my worry is that I was probably super focused on one area that I thought he was in and he was probably sitting super close just watching us hike up the hill and then just bound it out or something, but I don't know. We did find a two point back here, a decent two point. And we thought it was him at first because they had this similar, really the two point had really light colored antlers, but wasn't him. So I think, I think we're out of luck off of the cactus buck. Spent some time glassing uh, the other side of the river as well as the side we're on. Didn't find much, so we're gonna head back down, meet up with the boys, and go from there. I think they're coming back. I never saw him. I never saw him either. On the hike out, because we got all the way back in there, and we're like, or at least I was like, I cannot recognize anything. And on our hike back out, we kept looking back, and Marcus kind of pointed it out. 
we found the spot and we just blew right past it like right at the beginning so he was way closer than yeah i was like dang you guys are way back in there like way further than i thought but yeah i i finally found the spot where i thought he was and i didn't see it so you never even saw him after we left yeah. yeah like it's it was so snowy out right and then once it's snow i literally glassed for like pretty much the whole time you guys made your for like until i saw the first one of these from oh, Marcus. Yeah. It was just like I had been glassing nonstop, but um. he might have just left on his own before we got over there. But because we never saw, we saw more deer back there, a couple yeah. bucks, but never saw him anywhere. Huh. The cactus buck giving the slip. Yeah. The big slip. Well, I'm trying to figure out what we want to do. So. When in doubt, just let the river drift you down. Find Big Hank laying up here in one of these coolies, and maybe Jace will go kill him. He took it easy on that cactus buck this morning. I, I think Jay, Jay's took me serious when I said, you know, we got to get a lot of footage on this trip. It doesn't mean you can't be shooting them, Jay. Yeah. Okay. The quicker I shoot one, the less footage we get. I know, that's what I'm worried. You took me too seriously on that. Drag it out. Drag it out. I'm fine. I don't got to be, I don't even got to be anywhere on Monday, quite honestly. <laughs> you guys do. You guys got to be to work on Monday. <laughs> me, I don't. Just have to get a hold of our boss and see yeah, if he'll let us keep. Yeah, you have to ask your boss if you can have the day <laughs> off on Monday. <laughs> you your hunting. Got stuck up in the gumbo of Montana. <laughs> Couldn't get home. Boat broke down, all kinds of excuses. Water. Is that really pointy? No. Yeah. Go straight up from that. Really. Really. Right to the left over. And that's a shooter all day. Yeah? It's oh, buddy. You got that footy? Yeah. Is it the same buck? I can't tell. The antlers look a little, like lighter colored, but uh, I mean, More it looks big. Right now. It looks big, big enough for me. It's all that matters. Yeah, that's him, I think. He's a mile marker? 1,600 and some yards. Yeah, so we were doing our plan of just floating down the river here. I just had the binos up as we were cruising, and a deer came into frame. We beached it. The deer that was in frame was a doe, but right next to her, bedded. Good looking buck. We suspect it's that four point buck Randy spotted this morning. So Marcus and I are going to go try to put a stock on it. Let's go. <laughs> He's a ways up there, so. He's got a good view of where we're coming from, but I think we could we can make it work. Yeah. There's two does and a buck. Two does so up there. Another doe now. Yeah, but they're both embedded. Yeah. Let's go. After All right. Sweet. Let's do it. Let's not. Let's dropped off. Marcus and I are gonna head up this trail, get up on some of these ridges and try to relocate that buck. Get him shot. Let's go down.
He's laying down on me, like about to shoot. Yeah. If he stands up, I'm going to shoot him. Okay, I'm on him. What's that? We're rolling. Okay. Okay, we got him. Or so it seems. I shot, he dropped out of sight. Like, dropped, dropped. Doze took off, we haven't seen him run out. Whew, that was pretty cool. 220 yards, or 218 I think. But we came all the way up here, and Marcus told me this was probably gonna be the spot we'd find him. And sure enough, we're starting to crest over here, and thankfully Marcus noticed him watching us. They were bedded, so all you could see was their head. Saw the buck, he was just staring at us. So we laid down and uh, I got a range on him. And Marcus, I told Marcus, as soon as he stands, I'm gonna take the shot. And it didn't take long for them, for the doe to finally like get up. And the buck followed right after. He, he got up at first. I, if he was gonna stand there, I was thinking about taking the frontal, but he didn't stand there more than half a second and turned broadside. And I took the shot immediately because I didn't know if they were gonna bolt or not. Because the wind was freaking terrible. So. <sighs> that was pretty cool. Now we just gotta go find him. <laughs> Dude! No ground trick in there, huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. I was looking for him up there. See, today, my friend, this country's been confusing me all day. Jeez. He's way bigger than I thought he was. That's a good, good problem to have. Oh nice, my god. Dude. dude, thank you, Marcus, for oh all your help these last nice couple days. Have a sweet bar. Holy smokes. Look at that guy. Heck yeah. That is, Heck yeah. that is sweet. Ah, thanks, dude. Oh, man. That's incredible. <laughs> nice work, dude. Nice shooting. Okay. Yeah, this is, what, this is what you come out here for. Like, just a freaking cool, rutted up mule deer. What's so cool is that we were just floating just drifting the boat downstream. We we're all just glassing, like letting the boat scan the hills for us. And then we spot one way up here and we just walk up here and shoot them. Simple as that. Oh, a little more harder than it sounds, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stoked. Couldn't be more happy to be out here with all these guys and hunting mule deer, my favorite thing to do. <sighs> Thanks, Marcus. Oh yeah, <laughs> stoked to be a part of it. Randy missed us, so he had to come up and join. Yeah, and Michael's just behind me here. Yeah, 
I got the whole crew coming up now. Well, we're only a mile, not even a, maybe a mile from the river and only 500 feet elevation, heck with that. Yeah. We weren't gonna sit down there and have a smoke and a drink while you guys did all the fun stuff. Good yeah. job, Jace, congrats. great hunt me and Michael and Jace all shot bucks appreciate you all sticking around for this story hope you found something worthwhile from it hope you all uh, do a deer camp with your friends every year family start some of your own traditions and uh, go out and have fun enjoy your public lands they're yours they're all of ours and uh, go out and do it thanks for watching